Welcome back. We're to Beijing now in the doping scandal that's overshadowing competition on the ice at the Winter Olympics. The head of the U.S. anti-doping agency says the United States could prosecute any Russian individuals allegedly involved in the case of figure skater Kamila Valieva. The International Testing Agency confirmed Friday that the 15-year-old failed a drug test ahead of the Olympic Games. Well, now officials say they should have a resolution to this case by Tuesday. Well, I want to welcome CNN's Christy Lou Stout, who joins us live from Hong Kong. Uh, good to have you with us, Christy. So, Valieva's Olympic future certainly hanging in the balance. Uh, just bring us up to speed with the latest. Yeah, we're getting a little bit more clarity from the International Olympic Committee. An IOC spokesman held a press conference in Beijing earlier this morning and said that there will be a resolution in the case of the Russian figure skater um, uh, by February the 15th, which is next Tuesday, on whether or not there will be a suspension. I should also add that February the 15th, is when she is due to compete. This comes after what we heard on Friday. The International Testing Agency said that Camila Valieva had failed a, a doping test that took place in December. She tested positive for a banned substance, a heart medication that could be used to enhance performance. And the result of that test didn't come to light until during Olympic competition in Beijing. There are so many outstanding questions at the moment. Um, number one question, what does this mean for Valieva and her team, the ROC, who won the gold medal on Monday in the team figure skating event? Will that gold medal be revoked? And also, what does this mean for Valieva herself? Will she be allowed to compete on Tuesday? Now, she is a figure skating sensation, a breakout star in the Beijing Olympic Games, the first woman to land quadruple jumps during Olympic competition, and she's only 15 years old. Her Olympic dream is now turning into this Olympic nightmare, and it has drawn the ire of athletes and organizations all around the world. They are funneling their anger squarely at Russia and its enablers. I want to bring up this very powerful statement for you. This comes from the global athlete moment movement, and it says this, quote, Valieva's positive test shows the severe ramifications of the international community's failure to hold Russia accountable. A 15-year-old athlete testing positive for a potentially harmful prohibited substance, unquote. I should add, Linda, that Valieva is one of the youngest Olympians ever to test positive for a banned substance. Back to you. Yeah, big shock. Just 15 years old, as you say. Uh, so, Christy, has the uh, Russian anti-doping agency responded? Yeah, we have heard from Rosada, the Russian anti-doping agency. They said that they are launching an investigation into her support team, which would presumably include um, the medical team as well as her coach, who is a very controversial figure. Rosada said that she tested positive in St. Petersburg in late December. The test was processed at a, co at a lab in Stockholm. But that lab result wasn't ready until Monday this last week, which is, of course, the day when the ROC, her team, won that gold medal. Um, what was behind the delay? Uh, Rosada says that the delay was due to, quote, a, a COVID-19 situation, another wave of COVID-19 at that clinic in Stockholm. I should add that CNN, we have reached out to that lab in Stockholm to get any clarity, to get any comment. So far, no response. Linda, back to you. Mm, yeah, very odd. All right, Christy Lustau for us in Hong Kong. Thanks so much. You bet.